Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today I've picked out some pretty important and cool AFL uh, free Euro Guernseys that I own and I'm going to be reviewing them and yeah showing you guys but I've got some pretty cool ones here I've got I've picked out four of my Fremantle Guernseys uh, yeah let's get straight into the video starting off my most recent Guernsey is this got the Clash Guernsey and this was only a few weeks ago uh, it's pretty big for me to be honest. I ordered it in men's. I don't know why. I'm pretty. I'm a pretty small bloke. Uh, but yeah, here's the Guernsey. Got the Clash Guernsey. I really. I've wanted one of these since about 2014. And I've only just got it um, a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, here it is. I got this around. I got this the same day as I got this hoodie, and this hoodie is incredible. This um, Guernsey also. I can't wait. And it'll stand out in the Frio Cheer Squad. Moving on to the second Guernsey, I have. I'm um, pretty sure my second most recent Guernsey. It's a good one. Yep, there it is. I've only ever worn this once to a game, actually. I wore it to the EJ Witten's uh, game last year, where Ryan Crowley handed me a footy, and he only handed it to me because I was wearing this. So lucky I was wearing it, or else I wouldn't have got a footy. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice, um, obviously, original design. Um, got the Woodside logo, which is the current logo we have now still. Then the AFL logo, ISC. Yeah, this one's really good as well. Alright, two more to go. I'm going to um, do from most recent to oldest. My next most recent is this one. It's a Indigenous one from 2019. My mate actually got this for me. It's not... I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you this now. It's not real. Um, I'll show you guys this. Made in Thailand. Yeah, I can definitely trick people with this because it looks very real. Um, I've worn this, I think, a few times. Not actually too much. I really need to start wearing more of these Guernseys to the footy because they are really good. I usually just wear, um, I don't know, like a random jumper that I just own, like not even Frio or anything. Uh, but I sometimes wear, yeah, Frio Guernseys, but mostly just the home one. If I were to give this Guernsey a rating out of 10, I'd probably say, because of the design, and because of how cheap it was, <laughs> I'd have to say this Guernsey deserves to be an 8 out of 10, possibly even a 9 out of 10, because look at that. Got the fish down the bottom for the indigenous uh, Guernsey and stuff. And yeah, this one, really nice, and a slick Guernsey. And yeah, probably one of my favourites that I own. Uh, just the fact that it's not real kind of lets it down a bit. Moving on to the last one. I know this video is very short, but last Guernsey, the Frio Home Guernsey. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> Frio Home Guernsey, nothing exciting. But yeah, I got this back in, I think, 2017. And um, yeah, my first season of actually, I think, owning a Frio Guernsey. And look at this, an OG, an OG, as you can see, it's got, uh, it's got washed away a bit um, in the wash, but it says 22, 22, 2017, Shane Kirsten. Um, I think he played for the Cats before he came to the Dockers, and then he played, oh, maybe about, how many seasons was it? I think he played about two, maybe three seasons at the Dockers. Then he retired, but yeah, he's an absolute legend, Shane Kirsten. And um, yeah, believe it or not, now I'm thinking back on it, this Guernsey I got in 2017, my first ever Guernsey, and I got a signature on it. That is pretty lucky. Um, for some reason, I feel like I own two of these, but I don't know where the other one is. Um, I don't actually need two of them, obviously. <laughs> um, I only need the one to take to the games. Um, but yeah, this one is the one that I usually um, wear at the footy that I usually take to the footy um, but probably in season 2021 if everything is gone if COVID chills down a bit and if we're allowed to go watch the footy in Victoria then I will be part of the Victoria Frio Cheer Squad and I will be wearing some new Guernseys uh, because yeah this one I know it's the home one it's a good Guernsey um, but I reckon I need to start wearing the more interesting and yeah, the better ones, I reckon, because they have a lot more detail, those ones over there, that I've already reviewed, than this one. And yeah, I've got to start wearing those ones to the footy instead, I reckon, because this one, although it is a very nice design, um, I reckon the ones over there, much more detail, much, um, much better design than this one. This one's good, 
but those ones are probably a little bit better in my opinion. The indigenous one from last year, very cool. And the um, OG Anchor, that one has to be worn a fair bit. And also the new one that I got a few weeks ago, I haven't even worn that, uh, worn that yet, but to the footy next year I definitely will rock that in the cheer squad. I know this video is um, yeah, obviously a bit shorter than um, a lot of my other ones, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little video just to show you guys uh, some of my Frio uh, Guernseys because um, yeah, I got a pretty good collection um, out of those four Guernseys. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching today's video. Like, subscribe, let's try and get to 550 or maybe even 600 subs by the end of the year and I'll catch you guys soon in my next video.